up. First time I got to see it. Uh, obviously, you guys invited me to help design it and work with uh, uh, Mickey and everyone else uh, on this. So it's cool to see it in real life. Epic. It's super clean, man. Wow, there he is, dude. What's up, man? <laughs> How are you, bro? This thing's awesome. Thanks for coming back. Wow, of course, man. Well, oh, you've so seen this. Really no, I haven't seen it even black. That's how long it's been. Oh, okay. wow. really? Yeah, no. It was up there. It was up there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Red and primer. You know what? You're probably right. Red. Okay. Really? It's been so, dude, it's come a little ways. Today's an exciting day. We'll oh, did you start, start it? Yet? No. No. Oh, I, get to, I, I don't get to admit, I don't have You're to admit. You're going to be here I for the first time. You're going to be here. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude, this thing's so clean. It's not done yet. I know it's not done. It's never done. Never done. <laughs> Sorry. But it's amazing. Dude, good cool. job, dude. Air conditioning. Well, this is a team effort, man. Everybody just had their hands on it. Like the Eclipse, it was a concept. That it is. Yeah, tub. So we yeah, tub put some it out. Bigger meats in there eventually. A little bit, a little bit better. And, uh, you know, turbocharged. Wow. Turbo runners, this thing should boost up pretty quick. And AC does. <laughs> you so when you're on the track, dude, when you're at the Did track. You, you see. Well, all custom AC stuff. Uh, Look, dude, here's a This is so. Here's a condenser. That's so gangster. It's so clean. I got Dennis Kako with me here today. And if you guys haven't watched our previous videos where Dennis has been involved, because he's been here quite a few times now, it's pretty neat. So when I still lived in Ohio and I was building cars way back 20 years ago I was reading Dennis's comic called Max Boost in Import Tuner I would run to the newsstand every month because I wanted to check out Max Boost and what he was up to and also what new cars were popping up in the scene but uh, one of my guilty pleasures was reading the comic in the back thanks to throttle and you know all the stuff that we've done here I was able to reunite or actually meet Dennis for the first time here at Throttle. It's been an honor because he's been coming here over the last couple years to help us with some livery designs and just basically making the cars into Max Boost style cars, which is the way he draws and his uh, way of, I don't really know how to explain it. It's your way of so basically kind of a telling a story yeah, and yeah, having absolutely. fun, right? So yeah, for sure. um, mixing cars and art together. Yeah, and now we get to do The Freak. Finally come to fruition thanks to the team here at Throttle and uh, we're gonna immortalize it today. So I'm really excited about that. So that's Not as excited as I am. It's <laughs> gonna be awesome. What's gonna be the best when you get to drive this thing? Oh! <laughs> I wanna drive it. That's on camera. That's on camera, let's oh, you, go. We're gonna go. drive it. First things first, let's get this drawing kicked off and uh, see where we end up with delivery and all that stuff. Yep. I'm excited. Let's go. Dude. Just kind of an overview of sort of what, how I see the car in my head. Clearly went out on a limb and made this car satin black and satin carbon on purpose yep. because I could already see, I could already envision in my head what I want the car to look like when it's done. A lot of people don't like this look. They don't? I actually love it the way it is, but I've been telling everybody to trust the process, wait till the delivery is on, it'll all make sense because up here I already know what it's gonna look like. Yeah, but yeah. I need you to put it on paper because that's not my expertise. Of course. I already know what the colors are gonna be. I already Let me guess, black? Gloss black. That. Pretty close. No? <laughs> yeah, you, know, you got two of them right. Highlighter yellow. You got two of them right. So we're gonna go gloss black, highlighter yellow, and gray. Dark gray. And perfect. The, the design character the design characteristics I want to be very similar to like the one make style civics that run over in Japan. So it's a very unique style but they all look somewhat similar which is no, kind of neat so it's easy for us to kind of start sketching that and starting to apply the colors and i think it'll start to look really cool really fast and now we have some big sponsors to put on here too those are going to have to get incorporated into the livery and mm. i think you're just the guy for that so. and the way we're doing it today is we're going to do it digitally this time versus the way i did it hand drawn sketch last time Damn, so that's going to so allow us to go i don't boom, get a boom, hand boom. sketch to hang next to the rx7 doesn't mean i'm not going to do a hand <laughs> sketch i'm just saying when we're doing the livery all right, all right, all right. it'll make it easier to make corrections and change it and all that kind of that stuff makes so Perfect It'll sense. be fun. Yeah. So you like the colors? Dude, of course. Okay. Yeah, sweet. And it looks awesome like this. I don't know what you guys are thinking, <laughs> but I am also down to make it look like a race car because I'm a race car guy. So let's go. Okay. Yeah. Do they always give you plates? Or, no, um, or do you run a plate and you, they give you a number to stick on it? Or how does that work? So my theory is every true track 
car earns a number plate. So if you have a number plate, you should only be running a number plate if it's ever on the track. Okay, well this car has enough so this, track. So this car's gonna be on track. Should we leave this area sort of blank? No, let's put, let's put a plate. Let's, let's put uh, a definitely plate. Put, put a plate because that's the point of this car. Okay. We're gonna actually use this car. Okay. It's not a garage queen, sweet. right? Okay. You're gonna be driving this thing. Hopefully. Yeah. So it's gonna earn its stripes and those are the stripes it earns. Okay, sweet. So let's already start planning. So let's put um, that there then. What's but the number? 12. 12, okay. Cool. There you go. He already knew a number. That's awesome. Whoa, wait, why 12? That's been my hockey number since I was three. Hockey. And uh, pretty much everything since I was a little kid. 12's my, been my number. Look at this. That's why you got 12. Had this wheel before I even had the car. That's... Let me guess. That wasn't luck. No. Somebody pulled some strings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You must know somebody. I know somebody. <laughs> So go. 12 has always been my That's thing. dope. I love that. So 12 okay. goes on this car. 12, 12 and fluoro. Fluoro yellow also, a lot of people don't know why I use fluoro yellow on all my there bills. There you go, what's but, that? Uh, because when I was Yeah. You're gonna reveal your... Should I? Should I not? I don't know. I want to know, let's go. Uh, Should I tell? I feel like it's got to be like a personal like conversation this with someone. This is personal, bro. Okay, this we'll personal. save it for later then. But it does have a meaning. It's not just some random color I picked. There's family meaning and also personal meaning behind it. So. so that's really cool that um, Mickey has a special um, association with like the number and the color. For instance, like as a designer, that's really cool to incorporate into a car. When things are actually meaningful, that's really cool. So we just got warmed up, uh, warmed up my hands with uh, this sketch really quick. Um, and then now we're gonna take it from a smaller sketch to a larger, uh, three more uh, three-dimensional sketch uh, here in the Max Boost style that I'm kind of known for doing. So we're gonna go from here. I think drawing it by hand uh, helps me kind of keep more of the creative juices flowing versus just going pure digital, uh, which I originally planned to do. But now uh, we're gonna do it this way. So not only um, do I draw it by hand, get the juices flowing, but also, so Mickey has an original uh, drawing uh, from me. So that'll be a really cool present for him. Green juice in like 30 seconds. <laughs> I've, found, I've found a couple of EKs looks in my day. Than, looks better than the real thing. we are right now. Um, yeah, so I just finished doing the blue pencil and I'm gonna go into here and actually do regular graphite pencil as the next stage before I do ink. Here's your graphite pencil, believe it or not. So, so we'll come in, start to finalize more of these lines. So here's the stages of completion. So started off with this fun sketch to warm up, then took it to a blue sketch that was bigger, did the graphite on pencil, took a photo of it, and now we scanned it and brought, brought it into the computer right now. So from here, I'm gonna take it so we can start miss playing around with some of the color right now while I'm here. And then, cause when I'm done here, I'm gonna bring it back to the studio and refine everything. So this is just We're the rough here, draft. Getting the car ready to start. This dude's over here immortalizing this thing. There you go. Oh, okay. That's cool, huh? 
<laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yep, there's a uh, Wacom tablet. And Wacom. I know it's not Wacom, it's Wacom. It's, it's literally Wacom. And uh, it's essentially, you're, essentially what you use, I use Photoshop on this, and this is how we do most of the coloring for our, uh, our digital art. And uh, this versus like using a mouse is 100,000 times faster. Back when I first did Max Boost in 1998, we were using a mouse, draw, drew everything in pencil and ink, scanned it in the computer. It was just such a super long process. It's amazing how far computers have gotten and technology has gotten that we can start doing this stuff this quick, like literally right here, right now. So, watch. Ooh, and this one right here. <laughs> it's a little mini print. A little mini print for me to hang on the wall. There you go. Anything for Mickey. Oh, what? Wait, you just took a picture of it? Or yeah. scans it? Yeah. Dang, okay. That's sick. That's super cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to get a rough draft of it. Um, start throwing some color down. So I'm gonna gray out the car. I'm gonna darken all the dark parts and then gray and blacken the car so we could throw some livery on it after I do that. Yeah, so while the boys were working on getting the EK started, um, I ended up actually doing a rough airbrush of the black and white pencil drawing that I did and uh, in Photoshop and started adding some of the logos. And I'm gonna show you right now uh, a, a setup that I did so that we can easily block in some colors. Mickey's gonna see this, I think he's gonna trip. So. All right, so one of the things that uh, I have set up here is the ability to actually start blocking in color on this black EK. You just start throwing down this pen you can throw a stripe down there we can block in color on the hood for example um, and this is probably a fast way for us to figure out what kind of direction Mickey wants to go in let's see Did that real quick. Watch you guys will see what I set up. Mickey hasn't seen it yet. Oh, damn, dog. Just did this while you guys were messing with the. Uh, damn. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's going on over here? You ready? Look at that. Shit. Move your thumb out of the way, right? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so let's uh, check this out. Bro. Oh no. Check this out. But. Yeah, you even with the plastic bags on there, does? Yeah, dude. <laughs> totally. <laughs> but check this out. So, yeah, so it's just the rough right now. This is the, dude, the hood. Nailed it. But, um, but check it out. So, what I did was I actually locked down a layer for you. Don't worry, we'll get it all. No, I'm he's, he's looking at all the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I blocked off a layer for you so we could figure out um, uh, how we can do the color blocking on this. So, like, literally right now, I have this set up. Check this out. Where, um, we can take this, and then depending on where you want to block the color, just start drawing over it like that. Oh, mm. so we can do a line. We can do back here. That's we can drop really a fender. Cool. You pretty okay. much nailed it, dude. It's so cool. good. Thanks. Yeah, and this is it just. Looks, uh, looks like it's carbon. <laughs> yeah, they got yeah, carbon it looks good. Yeah, Yeah, so this is uh, what I consider a rough. Um, still That's your of, rough. It's still a lot of work. I'm still drawing stick figures and stuff at home, bro. <laughs> I can't even draw a stick figure. But yeah, so we can just do looks the, good, the bottom half it like that really as an example. You know how quick that is. So now we can start. We can well, we're, are you going to use this drawing for the livery, right? It's just for us to. Well, actually, I did this drawing so you can kind of get a feel of it three dimensionally, but on the livery, we're going to do a side profile, front profile, gotcha. uh, real accurate. More traditional style. All right, here we go. 
Next step is to get Mickey in here, giving me his opinion on uh, just a general direction that this thing needs to go in because uh, I don't want to shoot in the dark. You know, you do stuff like this, um, and then, you know. I think the direction is spot on. This is exactly what I was after, Dennis. So cool. I think we should continue to work on that area, but I think this is a good place to start and we can kind of refine it a little bit from here. Yeah, I'm getting excited about it. I think it's gonna look good. <laughs> I love it already. Yeah, dude. All right, well, since we're pretty happy with the direction, uh, Dennis is now gonna head back to the uh, Max Boost Bat Cave <laughs> and start finalizing this graphic for us. So uh, I'm really excited about this. I love the direction we're going so far. And I think this thing is gonna turn out in your face. <laughs> 100% dude. All right, thanks Dennis. It's been an honor as always to have you here at the throttle shop. So I can't wait to see what we come up with. Dude, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Let's go. So believe it or not, this is rough and I have to redraw it. I know, it sounds crazy, uh, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna redraw it digitally, draw all the lines all over again. And so a way that you'll be able to see that is going through the process of going through this black and white and then redrawing it using this pen and going through every single line until the thing's redrawn. And after that, I'm gonna have to recolor it. So the one of the ways that I'm gonna do that is by taking the draft sketch, toning it down so I can see kind of through it, overlaying this drawing, the original pencil sketch that I took a photo of, over it, and then doing another layer and drawing over that whole entire thing in black, black line. So I'm gonna do all the black line, all throughout the whole entire thing, watch me. All right, so now that I did some of the black line, I wanna show you what it looks like over the original uh, drawing uh, and the sketch in the um, draft that I did over throttle. Check it out, there it is. And kind of to turn it off, look at that. So this is where it is right now. I still gotta draw the wheels, but we're getting close to finally having a black and white version of this that's clean. <laughs> And there you have it. This is uh, still a draft, but it's a better draft. And uh, we're gonna continue to work on this. This is where it's gonna be for right now. So one of the things that we're definitely missing on this race car livery are the sponsors. So we're gonna be adding the sponsors as well as the next step after completing this arbor, making it all nice and extra shiny. I'm gonna do an XYZ access of the livery so that we can take it to a vinyl cutter or uh, whoever's gonna be doing the stickers will be able to replicate this design on Mickey's actual car. So there you go. We've come a long way and I can't wait to see the final car. <laughs> <laughs>